Another round of inter-Korean general-level military talks was held today. The two sides saw eye to eye on a set of measures that are in line with the comprehensive military agreement signed last month. This includes withdrawing guard posts in the demilitarized zone and steps to carry out joint inspection of the Hangang River estuary. Kan Yong-woo has our top story. In their talks Friday afternoon, the generals from Seoul and Pyongyang agreed to move forward on a number of issues in the comprehensive inter-Korean military agreement signed last month. We talked in depth about how we can cooperate on various issues to implement the military agreement smoothly. So I want to say we had a very meaningful and productive meeting today. The two Koreas agreed to withdraw 11 guard posts from each side before the end of November and to carry out joint inspections in December to ensure that all related personnel and facilities have been removed. And based on how that goes, they will have further discussions on removing yet more guard posts. Seoul and Pyongyang will also form an inspection committee together to create a zone in the Hangang River estuary that can be used by both sides. Ten people, each from south and north, including military officials and maritime experts, will inspect the area in early November. And in the demilitarized zone, they confirmed that work to remove landmines and build roads are going according to schedule. That will enable them to excavate the bodies of soldiers who died in the Korean War. The military officials added that they will have further talks on setting up a joint military committee to oversee the agreement's implementation. The talks were attended by delegations of five members from each side the South Koreans led by Major General Kim Do-gyun and the North Koreans by Lieutenant General Anik San. I don't think we've ever seen military officials from the two Koreas discuss the matters at hand so broadly and agree with each other so quickly. Taking place at the Tongilgak building on the North Korean side of Panmunjom, the meeting lasted a little under six hours. The two Koreas once again reaffirmed their plans to seize military exercises aimed at each other along the military demarcation line starting November 1st. Kanyong-woo, Arirang News.